Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. And today is uh, a stage called Rosewood. It's not a good stage, it's not a bad stage, it's a, it's a slightly better than mediocre stage, so... There's that. Oh god, it's the Hitman movie. It's even worse than I imagined. Jesus Christ, this fucking Hitman movie. Alright. We gotta find some new clothes, 47. What do we got? What? Shit stained? Shit stained clothes. All of them fucking shit stained. Why is that? Except for one clean suit. You know, why did 47 have a preacher's outfit so that. Empty here without the children. I wish I could have gone on that field trip with them. Oh, good. Now, that way, if anything bad happens, the kids aren't in the way. That's a good thing. So, why did Birdie have a an outfit that, uh, that fit 47 perfectly, and how come it wasn't covered in shit? I don't understand that. Oh, it's you. I'm glad you're here. Victoria's sick. Uh-oh. That's not good. One minute she's fine, and the next she's hardly breathing, and the doctors what the can't fuck? find anything wrong with her. A necklace. Where'd she... A necklace will... Well, it's on the dresser. She Didn't I tell you the I fucking netflix it? necklace was important? What the fuck are you doing, lady? Come on. There. I mean, did not 47 say it was important? I no. thought he did. Uh-oh. They're here. I've got to move Victoria fast. Where's the safest place in the building? Uh, uh, oh, the basement. The, the basement. basement? Get down there quickly. That sounds like a bad idea. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, oh, basements are for, you know, tornadoes and hurricanes and... Well, not for hurricanes. No. I mean, we're not dealing with a tornado, are we? Thank you. You came back, just like you said. I was so so scared. Uh huh. You know, I've been playing The Last of Us on PS3, and I gotta say, uh, the character in that game, the little girl in that game, is a lot more endearing than this one is. Victoria is just kind of a boring nothing character that we won't be seeing for the rest of the game, which is just fine by me. Oh, some TV. Uh-oh. They're breaking in. Are those gunshots? Don't worry. I promised Diana to keep you safe. <laughs> I know what you've been through. No one will harm you ever again. <laughs> it sounds funny the way 47's talking like this, and Victoria's mostly talking normally. <clears throat> yeah. Do 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 do. All right, there's the elevator. We just gotta take her down to the basement. Man, that nun sure moved her ass, didn't she? Didn't think she could, considering her uh, her body so type. Nice. Uh oh. Shh. Don't make a sound. Uh, there's a, luckily, there's only two of them. Yeah, I mean, it's not that they're nuns. I mean, it's just... I mean, God, whatever happened to duct tape? Uh-oh. That's Wade for you. The guy likes his carnage. Sick, sick shit. Gets him off. That's probably why he's never been caught, you know? Always willing to... What, he's never been caught because he's a murdering psychopath? I don't, I don't understand that. Oh, it looks like the nuns aren't uh, doing so well. Maybe we'll be able to save them as well. After all, Agent 47 is a hero, right? He's he's very heroic. And all right, so there's lots of stuttering in certain parts of the game. There's nothing I can do about it. Even when I'm not recording, it still stutters a lot. How are we gonna get out of the basement afterwards? Just gonna hide or? Uh oh. Ah, oh, shit. I need to get the power back on. Sister Mary is waiting in the basement. I will meet you both there. Thanks for that exposition. So, oh, is that a nun up there? Shit. All right. Well, she seems to be doing fine, I guess. I could have sworn 47 said that necklace was important. Stupid nun. Oh, oh, <laughs> she's dead, isn't she? There's a lot of blood. Started. Let's go. We gotta find her. 
So we gotta recover the fuses. I'm not really sure how 47 knows that the fuses were taken from the elevator. Find out what they got. And I'm not sure why uh, they would shut down the elevators rather than, you know, just looking and seeing if there's anyone in the elevator. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but... Alright, you're gonna die first. And we're gonna take out all the guards upstairs stealthy-like, because sometimes... Uh, notice I said sometimes. The guard that they're beating up here will say something, and I just want to see if I can get him to say it. Oh shit, that looked good. <laughs> now, let's try this again. Where is the girl? And uh yeah, I'm chuck that over there. Would and you check that out. Don't make me ask you again. Okay, well, since you're being so polite about it, I'm going to make this guy away. turn his back and I'm going to wring his neck. All right. All right, who's the comedian? Why are you talking to the fucking wall, dude? There. I'll teach you. Wait, wait, there's a fucking knife in a nursery? There's a big butcher knife in a nursery. What the fuck? That's fucking disturbing. I think there was some shit going on here before these guys came. Hiya! Get, get knocked out, you motherfucker. There. Okay, so there's two more guards to take care of. <clears throat> okay. And also the fuse, the first fuse of many, and 47's uh, killer instincts, uh, instincts that he trained to perfection uh, back in Romania or wherever he went to, uh, helps him helps him discover where the fuses are. You know when he was in that when he was in that asylum in Romania years ago. Uh, Doctor Ortmeier or whatever the fuck his name was was like, okay, 47. This is how you detect fuses for elevators, or something like that. I don't know. That's gotta be a heavy-ass syringe to knock over a guy like that. Boom. I mean, goddamn. Either that or 47's got the arm of, like, a, a Major League Baseball pitcher or something. So, unfortunately, this fucking stuck-up jackass decided not to say anything at all and embarrass me in front of all my internet friends. Well, you know what, buddy? I don't like you very much. Yeah, woo! There's, there's confetti in those balloons. Now, check it out. Keep your eye on the green balloon behind there. What the fuck? The bullets didn't go through the balloon. How is that? How is that possible? Those balloons are... You're not gonna say anything, are you? Alright, well, fuck you. I'm not gonna let... I'm not gonna... Ugh... <sighs> The nerve of that guy. There's a big boy gun here. But I think in the end I decided to go back to the dual Glocks. Or should I say the Areas 27 or whatever the fuck they're calling them. Yeah, whatever. Um, let's see. So one thing you gotta be careful about in Hitman Absolution is when you switch Whoa. objects, 47 will clumsily, stupidly drop the... Uh, <laughs> drop whatever he was holding on the floor and uh, when it's something like a knife that makes a lot of noise it can attract guards so I'm not really sure why this guy felt the need to come upstairs just because he heard something fall on the floor I mean as far as he knows all his friends are alive and well and still searching so it could have easily just been one of them dropping something there I actually killed that guy with a fucking soft cover book that's pretty amazing <laughs> Okay, so, you notice he's wearing a really cool mask, but we don't get that. I don't understand why. Uh, there is one guy, well, there's more than one guy, walking around with a, a hockey mask. And you can take the hockey mask, but you can't take the gas mask. Kind of disappointing. Oh, you seen me. So the second fuse is over here sitting on the desk. And there's some jackass, uh bragging about killing some defenseless person, most likely. Oh, that, that book exploded. <laughs> so I probably didn't need to distract that guy, but eh, whatever. Better safe than sorry, as I like to say. 
for those not in the know, you can hit the V key, and that will switch shoulders uh, manually. That's pretty useful. And that guard who was tied up upstairs would have told us about this shotgun if he hadn't been such a stuck-up prick this time. But whatever. There's that guy in the blue suit. He's wearing a different color suit than everyone else because he's the boss. Clearly. Clearly he's the boss. And baby blue is the color of bosses, I guess. Don't know about you, but I don't like being called dickless. Makes me sound kind of queer. So step up. So you'll be noticing a theme uh, amongst Wade's crew. They're not exactly professionals. If you catch my drift. Well, third fuse right there. One more to go. You know, I think I'm gonna pick up the toy robot. I, uh, I was kind of a video game kid. I wasn't exactly spoiled rotten, but my Shit. my parents did get me some video games, so wasn't really big on action figures. Kind of drifted off. Get your shit together. If you don't find that girl, we're fucked. I'm sorry. What did you say? I said we're fucked. Oh. Yeah. Really. How's that? Why do I bother looking out for you, man? <laughs> you got my back? No, because you're fucking high all the time. I got yours. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So, all Wade's crew does is murder innocent people and get high. Yeah. Lovely bunch of people, really. <laughs> I'm sure that there's plenty of companies out there just, you know, dying to snatch them away from Wade's little enterprise here. And I'm gonna kill this guy with a robot. hi -ya! <laughs> Oh, nice. And, yeah, I'm not sure how that works. That's gotta be one hell of a toy, huh? Now, I don't bother picking up the other ump or the TMP, whatever you want to call it, because it's one of those weapons that does a lot of damage to you, but not a lot of damage to the enemies. It's kind of strange that way. Another fucking person is high. This shit can treat that? Well, I, I don't know. Sounds fancy. I, I, I bet if you pop it up, you'd be flying like a rocket. Yeah. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Stop screwing around. Just grab what you can. Fuck it. Here comes the boss. So, I mean, the girl clearly isn't in this room, so what the fuck are these guys doing in here? Just walking back and forth. Just killing time, you know? It, <laughs> I wonder if these guys use a punch clock. You know, I bet they do, because, you know, I mean, otherwise, why the fuck would you not look for the girl harder? You know? I know. Kind of reminds me of some of the people I work with. You know, when when we're out abducting children, uh, they're just they're just sitting around, uh, you know, counting away the hours till five o'clock. And it sounds like they found some of my handiwork, so we should probably get out of here before they uh, start to suspect something. But first, we're gonna take a look at this. I think this one says donations. Hell yeah. There's some other ones there, like Dirty Thoughts, The Ultimate Solution. Seems kind of harsh to me, seems kind of desperate, but hey. When you're really looking for results, what else can you do except become a eunuch, you know? Oh yeah, seems familiar. I, I, there's some bald-headed guy with a with a band-aid on the back of his head. And I, is his name Ralph or something? I don't know. So anyway, here are the fuses. I'm not really sure why they took the fuses out and... and Put them all over the place. Kind of seems like a Mario level or something. There we go. And we're gonna start the next cutscene. Yeah. No. Uh oh, is it gonna be 47 or is it gonna be someone else? Oh shit! Come on, fight back, girl. Fight back. I wait. I want to be in charge, too! What? Motherfucker, don't you know who you're talking to? Little boy. <laughs> You've been waving that little thing around all day, haven't you? Ugh. Shut up, Wade! Oh. Yeah, shut the fuck up, you fucking oh. braces, motherfucker. Uh-oh. Oh. They found you Sister Mary. Tough guy, Lenny? Hmm? Tough guy? Stop it! Come on, man, you tough guy? Come on. Come on, you tough guy? Come on, man! No! <laughs> Come on! Okay, I show you! Uh-oh. This can't end good. Damn. Lenny's cold. Yeah, Limp Dick Lenny. You know what, Wade? 
Oh. Shit. Y'all see that? This is like pop like a watermelon. Lenny. Way he kind of slurred his words there. Tell you what, Lenny. Yeah. We better let the grown-ups clean up this. Mm-mm. Boys, keep watch, huh? Nice job, Lenny. Nice job. Keep watch. What is he talking about? Everyone else is dead. So anyway, here's the last section of Rosewood. No, 47's pissed off. These motherfuckers are in trouble. Yeah. Urgh, I'm so mad. I'm so fucking angry. Urgh. How could they kill an innocent nun? One of the things about absolution that I don't really think works is the fact that... 47's a cold-hearted killer, you know? It, he doesn't really have a lot of empathy. Um, and, I mean, he's never killed any kids or old ladies, but, you know, I mean, he's killed people who probably didn't deserve it, you know? People who were a lot more sympathetic than this guy. So, the fact that he's trying to save this girl, Victoria, and the fact that he's avenging these nuns, it just doesn't really work for me, you know? It, anyway, you've got Wade all fired up. We're risking the chance. Because that lunatic wants a standoff. Keep it down, Jeez. What if that crazy shit hurt? Just shut up. Do what you're paid to do. All right, so I'm gonna head up this ledge here. I don't really think I have enough instinct to to walk past everyone while rubbing my head. <clears throat> uh oh, that's her screaming. And, uh, we're just gonna walk over here, and pop down this ledge here. Man, this, this fucking basement is, is just, you know, really fucking dirty. I mean, I understand it's a basement, but you could clean up, you know? This can't be, uh, up to code or something, right? There you are, boy. <laughs> oh, so I apparently Wade's the only one who can tell, uh... <laughs> the difference between one of his henchmen and the, the hitman, I guess because he's not high like the rest of them. So there's Victoria over there, but we don't want to head straight to her because we have to deal with some of his, his bodyguards. Let's get rid of the steam here. There we go. Da -na -na -na. That's how you know you've done something right because the music plays. No, 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 no. Hey, I'm not a bitch. You're a bitch. Fuck you. So, there they go. 47 doesn't have any tattoos in his body. The only tattoo he has is one right in the back of his bald fucking head. You know, it, you'd expect a, a cold, slick assassin to have no tattoos. It's, all right. So, Wade's uh, waiting over here, and... There's Victoria. Now, if you get too close, he will pop out, and then you'll have to do a slow-mo shooting thing, but I'd rather burn off his face. There we go. There. How you like that, huh? Yeah, it burns real good, don't it? Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Give me that. Fuck you, motherfucker. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, what? God damn, was his face bulletproof or something? <laughs> oh, mother! Oh shit, is that a real fucking dick? Make fun of me, I teach you a thing or two. I hope you die real hard and real long, you fucking motherfucker! And you bald? Don't you fucking move? Wow, Lenny's a Lenny's a bullet in her head. Lenny's hardcore, huh? Wait, this is what happens when you fuck with Lenny. Yeah, that's what happens when you fuck with Lenny. You get killed by the the hitman. Uh -oh. Yeah, you're in trouble now, you motherfucker. Wow, huh? Hope, South Dakota. South Dakota, huh? Away from home. <laughs> what happened to 47's teeth? <laughs> what happened to his teeth? I got wood, man. Ugh. Why do I have wood? Why are you telling us that? <laughs> I mean, at least die with some fucking dignity, you prick. Jesus. Gross. 
So what's gonna happen when the kids come back from their their uh, little day trip there? Ugh. You know, that's the real tragedy here, is that all those kids are probably going to get shuttled away to really shitty, uh, shitty orphanages run by the state, you know, rather than some, some nice nuns, huh? God damn. Oh, well. well. I got Silent Assassin for, for, uh, Central Heating. Oh, boy. And I got one headshot, because I shot him in the face repeatedly as he lay there burning. So here's a bunch of things that I don't care about. So many things not to care about in Hitman Absolution. Good Samaritan. That motherfucker didn't... He didn't He didn't thank me at all, jackass. Alright, so... That's pretty much it. You know? I'm Nick Meister, and this is Let's Play Hitman Absolution. I'll see you next time.